Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another supply and demand course. So today we are going to talk about change in character, which is simply called uh, coach. If I can just okay. If you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of awesome stuff coming your way and i want you guys to do me a favor and please like and comment on the on our videos and also please push the notification bell below okay now let's jump into business so today we are going to talk about a change in character people uh, there's a huge difference between break of market structure and change in character a bos is when we see an overall uh structure is being broken while a change in character simply means uh, an internal structural break which indicates a pullback may be starting so when for instance we see this impulsive move to the downside and we see a pullback but the pullback didn't break where is my and the pullback pullback sorry didn't break this high instead it breaks this low you shouldn't uh, say that price is uh, giving us intent to move to the downside and take this uh, supply demand i mean no this is simply indicating that uh, a pullback may be starting toward our demand zone or our supply zone okay it's very um once you once you have uh, once you back this it's going to be way too easy and you're going to catch all these traits you have been missing so a changing character uh, character sorry <laughs> can give us false signal yeah it um, it usually gives us uh, fake uh, signals because you can have a changing character like character oh my god like this and then you can see price uh, take this uh, take this high and then continue moving to the upside so don't see the changing characters a holy grail it's actually it gives uh, a lot of work effect signals just like every other strategy so as the bos too they give uh, a lot of false signals but once we use liquidity and supply and demand multi-time frame analysis premium and discount pricing it's going to uh it's not we are not going to have all these uh uh one percent tweaks okay so right here we have this run to the upside and then after that we have this uh pullback and a change in character once we see this change in character the first thing that's going to come into your mind is uh price is going to come to our demand zones forgive my drawings and this we can you know we can take uh, advantage of this uh, changing characters for instance when we see price coming here uh, giving us an impulsive uh, leg to the upside we won't uh, we won't just allow the market to uh, come down for about uh, let's say 50 50 pips 100 pips just like that we're not going to let go of 50 pips or whatever just for us to wait for price to come to our demand zone and then continue its original move what if what if price continue uh coming down and then um, change uh, structure we have to take advantage of uh, the buys and the sells so what i usually call it is a pro trend and a counter trend this is the pro trend and this is the counter trend okay so when we see this change in character we expect to we expect price to come to a demand zone once price comes into our demand zone we are going to see a change in character on a lower time frame your poi or your supply or your demand must be clear on the um, on the higher time frame you can refine it 
once you go to the lower time frame but you need to pick the best poi from the higher time frame like i said time is power a poi on the monthly time frame holds uh, more weight on the weekly time frame that uh, goes for the daily and the four hour and the one minute and the 15 second okay time is power i will say this again and again you need to understand what your high time frame is telling you before you push or before you uh, move to the lower time frame the lower time frame is simply noise if you don't understand what is happening on the high time frame so once we have this uh, change in character price came to our demand zone on the mini time frame we are going to see a trend like this and a change in character too this is where we uh, are going to take advantage of the market all right but it's best to wait for uh, a change in character first and take advantage of this uh, pull back towards our supply our demand zone to target this uh, this week high so when we are trading bullish we know that this is a week high that need to be broken until we see otherwise all right so price gave us this change in character and then we have a demand zone being respected and then we see this uh, supply zone uh, failing this is simply called flip a uh, flip zone and then when price broke this uh, weak high we consider this as a break of structure not a change in character everything um outside this minor structure is uh is our uh, swing lows and swing highs all right everything here is simply just noise we are more interested in catching these uh, big pips uh rather than catching all these uh 50 20 no even 15 pips all right so when price broke uh, this high what do we see we see um we see we will see a rejection right when we see this rejection that is when we will tell ourselves that okay a pullback is starting for price to come towards our demand zone until we see a break of structure which happens here You can see that when price came when price gave us this change in character we 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 know that uh we are going to target this uh demand zone right we didn't know that price is going to break to the downside so what if you let this uh pips goes for nothing for you to catch this move you didn't take this because you feel like you're going to catch another 200 pips or so just for price to break this uh this swing low and then we see a reverse in market structure so you have to like you have to know your change in character your internal structure sorry and you need to take advantage of uh, every single opportunity you have in the market all right thank you